It's Richard Coughlin. Good evening. Hello. You okay? No, no, you're not. Fantastic. Right, that's one. That's all. So I'm actually in a good mood. I, two weeks ago, I finally got on the property ladder in London. Well, I found a, I found a fucking unused greenhouse in an allotment in Clapham. That 1400 a month, that's not too bad. But I've, I recently found, they say people in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. I've recently worked out it's not a good idea to wank during the day, either. <laughs> and mop it up with the neighbour's cat. They just really don't... It is. I've, 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 it's good to be back in London because I did my first. I'll tell you this story. It was about a month ago. I did my first gig in Northern Ireland in a town called Derry. Anyone from Northern Ireland? No, can't be bothered. No, good. <laughs> there was barely anyone there either. But I was. I, was, I got. I don't know if this is the worst or the best heckle I've ever fucking got. But it was. It was. This actually happened. This is a completely true story. I walked on stage as I am now, half man, half biro refill, basically, and. <laughs> I haven't even got to the fucking stage, and this blo I walk up to the microphone, bloke at the front goes, EXCUSE ME! Right, in that understated Northern Irish accent, it's like a cross between a leprechaun and a rape alarm, basically, is the... <laughs> he goes, EXCUSE ME! ARE YOU GAY?! I was a bit... Uh, you know, there's, no, there's no yes or no, you don't need no right answer. I just looked at him and said, why do you think I'm gay? This is what he said, cos you look like you've got AIDS! <laughs> Yeah, laugh it up. Yeah, fucking. I'm on stage in front of people, and it's the worst heckle for me because it's fucking true. I can't even deny it, right? That's why you laughed when you're fucking. I'm look. I stand there, ten seconds, absolute silence, and I looked at the guy, and he started going, hey, hey, I thought, fuck you. So I spat in his mouth, and that. <laughs> That's a heckle put down for you there. It's the next six weeks of your life fucking ruined, isn't it, right? But the thing is, the guy had a point. I do look like I'm dying. This is like my sort of thing. You know, there's like size zero. I'm the I'm, like, I'm terminal chic. This is like, you know, chemo style, I like to call it. It's a, don't take the day. People take the piss. It, it, it's saved me a lot of money. My mates used to take the piss. We went to Disneyland two years ago. I shaved my head. I got in for fuck all. It was incredible. <laughs> but But I, I do just look—I do just look ill all the time. This is just the, the look I've always—I've always had. And I, not to say, I'm nothing wrong with me, but that's not to say I'm healthy. I mean, I, I smoke 18 bajillion cigarettes an hour. Who, who here smokes smokes a lot? Anyone? There's a few. They're all dead. See, it's just me fucking. <laughs> I don't know if I don't sp I mean, they don't smoke, but give us a cheer. Yeah. Yeah, there's, a few, there's a few of you. I mean, the problem I've got with smoking nowadays is, uh, first thing, the warnings on the packet, I'm not going to moan about the warnings themselves, but they're getting a bit aggressive these days, the warnings. They're getting a little bit angry at you. I bought a packet of cigarettes the other day. It just said, you are a cunt. That's all it said, right? <laughs> and I turned it over, there was a picture of my mum crying next to a tombstone. I thought... <laughs> And it's a, it's a bullshit thing anyway, the health one. The only reason, where are the Americans? We've got some in, haven't we? Yeah, over there, yeah. I mean, it's because of you, it's because of you, because you did the thing you always do best. You sued the tobacco companies years ago, and that's what, because you needed someone to tell you that breathing in huge lungfuls of smoke was fucking bad. And I, this is where common sense kicks in. There's no warning on my toaster saying, when toaster is on, do not insert penis. You know, I don't... <laughs> I don't need these things. Don't fall asleep in the oven. You might have a bad day tomorrow. You know, it's like. <laughs> but you see, but that's why you've got the warnings there. Because but I, you know, we live in such a litigious society. You get the warnings. And I've got my one here. It just says smoking kills. Smoking fucking kills. You smoke and you die. Smoking kills. Right, but I, we live in such a sort of, everyone's trying to sue everyone for anything these days. I reckon it's going to go the other way around. Smoking kills. What if it doesn't kill me? Right. Let's say uh, tomorrow I go to the doctors, he tells me I've got some disease, it's terminal, I'm going to be dead in six weeks, and I would have got it whether I smoked or not. At that point, shouldn't I legally have the right to sue the tobacco company under Trades Descriptions Act for selling me a fucking product that didn't do what it fucking said, right? <laughs> I want to be the first guy to sue a tobacco company for not getting cancer, right? <laughs> I, I, this is the thing, and also looking like this, it's hard to pull. It's hard. It's hard to. It's impossible, really. I, I can't take a certificate, health certificate, every single time. And I'm, I'm, I don't. And if I don't go, and a woman shows a bit of interest, I'm a little bit dubious of her, because I think she's just looking at me and thinking, he looks like he's got what I've got. Fuck it, let's go for it. You know what I mean? <laughs> 
I'm not, I'm not trusting that. Right? And, and there's several reasons I, I, I have these problems with. You know, first of all, I, I, I'm shit in bed. That's the, that's the first thing. I'd like to clear that up now. Right? That's a, it's not even a joke. It's perfectly. Don't R me. You, you wouldn't fuck me. <laughs> no, you wouldn't, would you? No, yeah. Bloke going, oh, all right, fair enough. But this, look at these shoes. I can't be too picky. Now, anyway. But no, this is the thing. I, I, I can't. I, I'm crappy. My problem is longevity. Well, it's not even longevity, it's short jevity at this moment. I can't, it's just bang, it's over, gone, just fucking gone, gone, three seconds over, right? And, you know, and it's just, I'll tell you how bad it is. The other day I was masturbating, I came so quickly, I apologised to myself afterwards. That's how, and everyone else in the swimming pool, obviously, you know, but the, the, Well, I, had, I mean, I hate it. It's a bit of a negative term. I hate it. Premature ejaculation. It's like, you know, I don't, there's no bloke in here who's ever had a premature ejaculation. It's, it's enthusiastic. You know, it's, it might be inconvenient for the others who are currently in the room with you at the time. But it's just, and I hate the fact it's always on me. The onus is always on me. It's like, you know, the woman's always like, oh, God, why can't you fucking go slower and last longer? Fuck you. Why can't you hurry up? This is like, let's negotiate here. Girls, I ask any woman in here, if you could come after three seconds, would you try to not fucking do... No, you fucking wouldn't, right? Don't persecute me because I'm more highly evolved. There is, it isn't... <laughs> uh, the other problem is I've, uh, I've got a small penis. That's the other problem. It's, um, it, it works. I mean, it's there. It works. It's nothing to write home about, you know? Not that you would anyway. I mean, you wouldn't... There's a bit of a weird letter to write home, that one, isn't it? Dear Mum, I have a big cock. Love Richard. That's just. I mean, you probably would anyway, but fuck it. No, but this is. I do have a small. But I think the world would be better if, if, if like every bloke had a small dick. There'd be several advantages to it. If every bloke had a tiny cock, there'd be several advantages to this system, right? First of all, you'd get rid of those. Most blokes who brag about the size of their cock are liars, right? But every bloke here has got that one mate who just needs no excuse just to whip it out and fucking show you it and dance around an aeroplane. And look at the fucking size of that. My dick's fucking huge. Look at that fucking. Thing. I have to use a Pringle tube for a condom. Look at that fucking. It's fucking. Look at my dick when it's fully. On, when it's full on, that's on the slide. When it's full, it's 18 inches long and it's 15 inches round. I'm like, yeah, what? So's a baby. I've never seen a woman enjoy having one of them pulled out of her. <laughs> Women well, don't give fuck going, Oh, that's fantastic. He's nearly there, Mrs. Johnson. No, fucking push him in. Push the fuck up. Put a crash helmet on him for fuck's sake. Wrap him. You don't want to, and you, people worry too much about. I mean, I've got some people, but you can get too carried away. I've got, I've got one mate. Is a, his name's Terry. His name's he's, he's a he's a lovely bloke. But the problem with Terry is he's what I call a, a wank connoisseur. He's, he, you know, if they had wank soirees, he'd be the head guy with the biggest top hat, right? He's, he's, an, he's an enthusiast of masturbating. He is an onanist king. And the problem with him is he gets far too carried away with it. And whenever, I'm, whenever you end up going, being single, whenever I'm, I hang around with Terry, he's my single friend, right? And I hang around with, And he invents new ways to fucking masturbate and to come up. He invents new things he can come up with. And this was the last one he gave me. He went, Rich, 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 what hand do you wank with? He said, you know, okay. That's how he started the conversation, right? It's like, I'm right-handed. He went, right, next time you're having a wank, don't use your right hand, use your left hand. I said, why is that? Because it feels like a woman's doing it. I know you're laughing, but he's absolutely right. I did it that night. It was fucking shit. Right? <laughs> Some women clapping at the back. I like that. Yeah, we're fucking rubbish. We can't. Is that your technique? That might be why it's not working. <laughs> I always say, girls, if you, you know, if you, if you, if you feel that's unfair, you can prove me wrong afterwards. I'll be in the toilets waiting, and as you've already been told, it won't last long, and it's not going to take up too much effort. So we don't have to. Ladies and gentlemen, it's uh, it's been an absolute pleasure talking to you tonight. It's been wonderful as always. Thank you very much. Take care. Good night. <laughs>